Dr. John, let's start with you, sir. So as, as folks do brace for, again, a possible second wave of this virus, we should point out, we're not out of the first wave. What exactly does that mean? And will this fall hit with as much intensity as we saw in the spring? And Craig, if you remember back in March, April time frame, we kept talking about the curve and trying to get that curve under control. Well, that curve was essentially the first wave. And what we thought would happen is we'd have this high curve, it'd come down over the summer, and then it'd get down to bottom numbers, kind of an undercurrent of cases. But if you're looking at what's going on right now, we still have 40,000 cases a day on the average, and we never got that first wave under control. The problem is now with winter coming, fall and winter, we're going to have a second wave, or what people have been calling the second wave. Those two waves are actually going to end up colliding together. And the issue there is that means that more people have infections and will be spreading infections around. So getting it under control will be even tougher. So what you need to do are essentially the things we've been talking about. The four W's. Wear a mask. Extremely important that you wear it as often as possible when you're out and about. Make sure you watch your distance. That six feet is critical. Wash your hands or use a hand sanitizer to keep them clean. And the last one is windows. Ventilate as much as possible, especially when we start moving into the the winter time frame when you're indoors, try to open those windows. Even if you need to put on a sweater, put on some gloves, anything you can do to get that air moving, get outside air inside can certainly help, Greg. Four W's. We'll remember that. Uh, we've spent a lot of time talking over the last few weeks about the possibility of a, of a one-two punch, the flu season uh, combining with an uptick of COVID cases that you just mentioned. What might that twin dimmick, what, what could it look like, Dr. John? Well, the concern is, is this twindemic, the flu and coronavirus hitting at the same time, could simply overwhelm our healthcare systems. Remember, remember again, back in April, and that was just with coronavirus, how overwhelmed they were. The concern is that together this could happen. So that's why we're encouraging people to go ahead and get their flu shots. It's important to try, number one, keep the healthcare systems open up so they can take care of those coronavirus cases, but also so you don't get the flu. It is possible you could catch two at the same time. And if you do get the flu, it could get your immune system suppressed a little bit to where coronavirus could more easily move in. So you want to be careful. Getting the flu shot now is a great time to get it.